Hey woodcutters, Topsaw here. I just bought a 200 foot Tachyon 11.5 millimeter rope and I cut it. And in this video I'm going to explain why I cut it. And I cut it at 75 and 125, how it works with my Petzl zigzag, just overall how I use this rope. See stuff. It's a uh, 200 foot New England Tachyon 11.5. This is the ash color right there. I have splices on both ends. It's a 200 foot rope, and I'm actually going to cut it at 125 and 75. So those are just actually like my ideal um, working lines. I do a lot of small oaks where I only need 30, 40, 30, 40 feet up. So 75 is plenty long enough. So it's a Toffelberger rope, braided safety blue, tachyon, fly, arbor elite. So I'll cut it right there. I climb on a mechanical ascender, a Petzl zigzag, and it's kind of key that it's easy to get the rope in there. So this is the 11.5. It goes there, th it goes through there pretty well. Locks it up nicely. Everything I like to do is take electrical tape and wind it up. I don't want too many layers because I don't want to make it any thicker. I was trying to stiffen it up to go into the zigzag. So I'll just go up maybe three, four inches. That'll be easier to push through. And it pushes through really easy. Like that. Oh, I'm looking forward to checking this rope out tomorrow. I'll climb with both the, the short one, 75 and the 125 tomorrow. So there are the two ropes. Here's a 125, here's a 75. Pretty obvious the difference between the two. It is, here's a um, splice on the end there. You can see how tight it sits on that carabiner. Doesn't really slide around on it. Okay, so here I am climbing up a uh, small oak. Just as you can see, just in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen is a sunroom, a glass sunroom. It has exterior screens on it, which are super easy to tear, um, just because they're so old. So I'm being really careful. I am climbing double rope technique. I'm kind of on that limb on the other side, uh, just hand sawing little pieces off, cleaning up enough of an area for me to get into. And then there's roping down the first little piece. My groundman's holding the rope until I could grab it. And then right there, he grabs the tip of it and pulls it away from that sunroom on the right. Uh, but this is really kind of one of those typical trees for me. It's probably pretty short. I mean, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 foot tall. And I'm only 20 feet in the, into the tree. So it's really nice having that really short 75 foot rope. There's really no rope on the ground piled up very, very high or anything. The other thing I really like as well with that short rope is that it's so easy to get in and out of that zigzag, both getting in the tree and out of the tree. Here's the top piece, roping it back to itself. Really very little clearance to the top of that sunroom, break it down slow, and then just roping it down, swapping the ground in gives me the end of the rope once he holds it and I'm lowering it down, he's grabbing the tip and walking it away from the sunroom there. It's kind of easy tree, but I get a lot of little oaks like this, um, big part of my job. Now I'm actually taking my lowering rope, throwing it back to the, over a crotch in the tree on the left, bringing up the end right there, and then roping off this little piece of wood, I don't know. 
maybe 70, 80 pounds of firewood coming off on this. It is oak, so it's super hard and dense. Using an electric chainsaw, really like it. It's gonna break it off so it doesn't take a wild swing. Right there, I swing it away. And then groundman's lowering it back down. A couple small little pieces I'm able to just cut, either with my hand saw and then throw um, out of the drop zone of the sunroom. This is all double rope technique with my Petzl zigzag. Um, working really well, really quick to get in and out of the tree. You can do a lot of different oaks in a single day. Uh, cutting the last little piece of wood off here and roping it down. Now that this little one's done, I'm going to a little bit bigger one. Here is that sunroom in the bottom right hand of the screen there, if you can see it. And then here's a lot larger tree. So this tree, I just swap ropes. Uh, this is 125 foot rope in here instead of the shorter rope. And you can see this tree, this oak is still pretty small, but with the right length rope and the right tree, um, it's always nice that you don't have a bunch of rope piled up and also that you don't have to pull so much rope to go in through the zigzag. You know, always tie a tie off knot at the end of the rope so to make sure that you have enough rope to come out. You are setting it up in on the ground up in the tree so you know both ends are down so you are guaranteed that it is the right length of rope. Here I'm just cleaning out some mistletoe and deadwood with a pole saw. Um, not too much work in this tree. Some of the limbs over the house, roping one down right there and then swinging it down out away from that sunroom. Groundman's lowering it down and swapping the rope over to me. So I don't know, a little bit of tree climbing. Um, give you an idea of why I like the two different length ropes, how the rope's working. This is a beautiful climbing line. I really like it a lot. It handles really well. Using it with the Petzl zigzag, uh, double rope technique. I do also have a chicane and do single rope technique. However, on these small oaks, it's just quicker for me to reset uh, in the tree, move around, get in there, get my pruning done, and get out as quickly as possible. If the tree gets really big, I have a long rope, and I'll use a single rope technique and get all the way to the top of the tree and work off of that. It's all personal preference. Most important part is always safety is number one. Never do this unless you've been properly trained. Um, consequences here are always, always big if you're not doing it safely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Love to hear your comments below. And thank you for watching.